Racing to the 2021 Kentucky Derby, and this time we go to the big city, New York, the big A for the Wood Memorial Grade 2, and this will definitely be a 100 points to the winner Kentucky Derby spot. 40 points to second so definitely two horses possibly three out of the wood could make it to the 2021 kentucky derby it's a nine horse field but again we're going to talk about the six maybe seven contenders in this race starting with a horse coming off a long layoff he draws the rail brooklyn strong and it seems like a long time ago but he won that remsen stakes with an impressive brisnet speed figure over a hundred and that was as a two-year-old then he was scheduled to come back in January and February, possibly in the withers, uh, but some training, uh, lost some time to training and had to regroup, had a little bit minor injuries and nicks. So he's coming back off the long layoff, one chance to get to the Kentucky Derby for Brooklyn Strong. I think that's asking a lot for this horse. I think he was a very good two-year-old. He definitely has some class in him. I think he definitely has the competitive speed as a two-year-old, but I'm not sure he has progressed, especially with losing some of that valuable training time. I would want eight or nine to one on Brooklyn Strong. Crowded trade, an impressive two-race career, came from behind in his debut, ran a strong race in the Gotham, was just bobbed on the finish line by Weyburn. Otherwise, he'd have been two for two, and you can make the case that that was just a head bob, galloped out good, Chad Brown trains for the Banker Boys, and crowded trade, uh, buy more than ready. Definitely should be able to get the mile and eighth distance. The only question is, is why did he train at New York all winter? And Chad Brown usually brings his really good horses down to Florida, but this one has the New York connection. So maybe that's why they stayed in New York for the Banker Boys. Risk taking the morning line favorite at five to two. It'll be a challenge to see between him and Prevalence, which ones goes off favored. It'll probably be risk taking. Another one for Chad Brown and the Banker Boys. Picked up a win in the Withers the last time out, and the race before that he broke his maiden. Uh, seems to be one of those run all day types. Definitely has the pedigree to go long, being by Medaglia Dioro. Uh, a really nice looking horse. Just looks like a router. Uh, strides out at the end of his races like a router. I'm not sure he has the raw speed to run a 95, 96, but I think he could like this mile and eighth distance. He comes from off the pace. He's going to either need a little bit of a forgiving racetrack or some pace up front, and I'm not sure he's going to get that, but risk taking, definitely a contender. Dynamic one goes for Todd Pletcher. Todd Pletcher winning last weekend in Florida. And this one's similar. He lost a head bob to Greatest Honor a couple of races back. And that one, then he went wide in his next start, came back and won his maiden after shipping north from Gulfstream to Aqueduct. I think he's live, he's fit, he definitely has the conditioning under him, and definitely one of my top two contenders to win this race is Dynamic One. Prevalence, he comes in two for two, Medaglia Dioro. One is made in a Gulfstream Park at almost seven to one, drew off by seven lengths, dominating seven length victory. That's usually a good indicator. They can go a mile and an eighth. Came back at a mile, ran fast again at Gulfstream Park. I'm not worried about the margin of victory because he was in hand the entire race. And even going from seven furlongs to a mile facing winners, it was a nice effort by prevalence. And his speed rating denied declined just a little bit in that race, but that, sometimes that's what you want because now this is his third start of his career. I expect a career top effort and a buyer speed figure maybe in the upper 90s and maybe low 100s for Brisnet on that scale. Prevalence definitely a top two contender. Candyman Rocket, disappointed last time out, did not fire at all at Tampa Bay Derby. That was after winning the Sam F. Davis. He goes up a little bit up in class here. Uh, Mott must like what he's seeing in the mornings because he puts him into a stakes race. So Candyman Rocket, an outsider, you'll definitely get the price, but that outside draw, and I'm not sure he wants a mile and an eighth. Weyburn won the Gotham. That was off a long layoff. Again, he's kind of been handled a little bit gingerly since that race. Supposedly lost a little bit of weight. Uh, slow workouts, a six furlong uh, lung opener the other day. Weyburn definitely has the pedigree being by Pioneer of the Nile. Has the speed, liked his maiden win, liked his Gotham win. Did have a, a head bob victory over crowded trade. It'll probably be a little bit of an underlay and he draws wide on the other side. The pace of the race is interesting. I think it goes through prevalence, possibly Weyburn on the front end, and then dynamic uh, one could be the pace presser. 
Very good rendition of the wood. My top pick is going to be Prevalence. I think in his third lifetime start, he's ready to fire a new career best effort. I think he's got the talent, and I think he's really going to bust out with a big victory here in the Wood Memorial. My second pick would be Dynamic One. Third selection is Risk Taking. Who do you like in the Wood Memorial? Leave a comment and leave your selection below. Hit subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. We've also got a preview up of the Bluegrass Stakes, and we will also have one for the Santa Anita Derby as we lead you up to the 2021 Kentucky Derby.